Hi everybody, my name is Ajiqua. <laughs> my name is Ajokai and welcome back to Half-Life 1. Black Mesa Remake Edition 2020 release. Hip hip hooray. Where's the Wheel of Death? Uh I put it over here. Ready to use. Crackety crack 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 crew. Yeah? To which door have I laid access to? Not this one. That one was already open, and therefore it is old news. Um, yeah, okay, it's down here. I thought it might have something to do with this place, because this is where the warning sign was. So now that this is clear, yep, Joel can proceed. Was this here before? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Nice. I like when environments look back, up, look back on themselves like this. Still not the warmest, gotta say. <laughs> Still some res residual Kelvin lying around. Which is not technically an accurate science joke. Alright, alright, let's test out this gun. See his recoil, and what better thing to use than on a stationary target? That's for interrupting my gun test. Uh, a stationary target under a high pressure situation. Oh, getting the books hooked into the vent there. Really only danger if you happen to try to lasso onto it like you're trying to Tarzan your way through a science facility. Guns are very nice, but uh, we got a whoa. That felt in malicious and intelligent. Hello? How did you do that? I said fire to you. Ricocheted into my knee, that's fine. Alright, gotta get a read in the damage here. Well, they take a beating, that's for damn sure. Doesn't seem like a viable way to use my bullets. I don't know how much there will be in terms of ammo. I seem to remember supplies being scarce. Hello? Uh oh. Whoa! He's also! Some form of rodent or scientist yes they look familiar don't we I stepped I think the minor differences include these green things around it this ornamentation a collar and this thing which some heavy metal piercing this is one of those occasions where I know more about those things than I'm currently letting on but I do, I do not want to if I keep going with this, there'll be an opportunity to talk about the things that I'm noticing there later. Once the plot has revealed as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that can happen? Fantastic. You know, the crowbar's pretty powerful. Um, I, I genuinely tried to talk to that guy. Hmm. Yeah, there's something kind of like sluggish about the way that they try to get at you. That looks good down there. Uh, let's head this way first. Gordon, is that you? Is it safe? Ah! Whoa! I'm fine. Did I get you? I do believe I soiled myself. Well, you're in the right environment to do so. <laughs> All right, my buddy. One headshot, two headshot, three headshot, four headshot. Cool, I'll try to get those headshots when I can. We don't need the Captain Cap over there. Whoa. Yeah, we don't need them surviving the ordeal. Five? It shoots tongue, which is kind of interesting. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Cannibalism in any species. Unpleasant. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa. Ah. In an environment like this, they instantly drown. Excellent. Jeez. Alright, well, I'd. Take a lot of bullets to go down them Ow! themselves. So I don't necessarily want to keep doing that every single time. 
Nor do I want to hoard my ammo permanently because that's just less fun. Though I do have seven bullets now, I just noticed. That's less than ideal and that's not a way to go. Take a lesson from the spiders, my chum. Oh, fantastic. If this were a real physics game, I'd be able to replace that. Hmm. Well, this looks promising. Oh, goodness. Uh. Well, some suit power here, which is nice. Can I reach you? Ah, I can. Hell yes. Take it out the trash, vomit on the floor. Gotta swim in that shit. Ugh. Oh, thanks. Thanks for getting out of my way. <laughs> that was weird. My most uh, favorite memories from, I think it was Half-Life 2, Episode 2, was when I particularly needed a crate for something. And yet, Barnacles decided that they also needed a crate for something, thus leading to a short but sweet wrestling match between me and a Barnacle. Which I won in the long term, but not in the short term. Alright, I got more ammo, so let's have a wee reload. Manual override for the water system, so I gotta go that way, that way, that way. So, here we go. Paddle! Oh god. <laughs> Some strange physics there. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Fantastic. Oh shit. Ladders in this freaking game. Uh, guess I don't need that. Right. Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Scared me. God. Yeah, die to that. Get the broom closet ending. Not cool. Gotta love that faster loading. Gotta say, gotta say, how far technology has come. Security clearance level four. Well, I'm fired. Um, I can turn my flashlight off though. I gotta say, I think I liked it better when it was on a cooldown. I'm sure the game is balanced around the idea that you can constantly have this active, but still, I I prefer going through a game without constantly having the flashlight. That's why, um, oh, what's it? Uh, Destiny, Destiny has no automatic flashlight despite some very dark environments, but if you had it, like, it would really just be something that you'd use all the damn time. It would be a pain. It would taint the, uh, the visual design of all the areas that you're going to. Whoa. I see you there, buddy. Come on. Hey, bada, bada, bada. Bada, 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 bada. Fuck this guy over here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I was running out of smack talk to make me look tough. No? Okay. Ah. One needs power, so one must vent. It's also a good tip for your mental, emotional health. Here we go, one trudges through. If this ain't a metaphor for life in this particular instance, then, well, I don't know what would be. <laughs> crawling through a vent is a perfect metaphor for spending your life crawling through a vent. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Take the knees, whoop, there we go. Ah, no fall damage and I got ammo. Die. He was looking at me funny. Right, on. Lovely. Event with nothing happening, thus setting my expectations realistically for the rest of the game. Down you go. Where am I going? I don't mean to get to the top. Wasn't that the idea? The music. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Bye. Ah. Oh, I'm not ooping. There we go. Did you die? You died. No, 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 go, 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 oh, 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 not hit, not hit, not hit. My platform, invulnerable on my platform. Did they survive? They may have survived. Hard to say, whoa, okay, there's a lot of them. 
do that before they can react. Before they can react. React. Re you know, I swear this had more reach in previous games. <laughs> No! Okay, 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 okay. Descending, why am I descending? Is this just a brute? Fuck this. Ah, there we go. Get them booties. Nice music there, geez. You know, this is all so professional, but I think like, hmm. I don't know why I think this way, maybe because I know the least about it, but like having professional sounding, like good, appropriate music cues and stuff, just such the mark of a, of a fully fledged project. I mean, not if they didn't have all this, this wouldn't be amazing on its own, but music is like, sometimes it feels like the tie that, that knits everything together properly. This is good, some highly reflective water to wade through. Could be nothing living in here. At least I don't think there's anything that could ever hurt me. I don't know, might have some amnesia, which prevents me from remembering anything which could hide in water and hurt me. But, okay. Hmm. My passion recognition failed me. Sometimes you find scientists in these sorts of places. I have loads of bullets, so let's use the gun for a while. Oh, sh oh, that was all kinds of colors of explosions. Lovely, jubbly. Can I get through here? No, we have science locks, but give me an actual key door and I am oh, it's because my inventory is full of guns. More room for keys. Let's go up here. Yep, you can't. Ah! Yep, okay, well this is that. <laughs> a very dumb first death. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Just gotta time it right. Platforming's gonna be a big part of this and I imagine that there'll be many falls. Better get used to them. Some of the falls are slightly more intentional, such so. Yep. Landing on a railing and then falling onto concrete equals fine as long as somewhere in that equation a hazard suit exists. Yeah, that's another thing that the game, um, like, a direction it could have gone, but obviously chose not to do. Lower Canal, do I need to go in there? Huh. Is uh, the realism factor, you know, doing fall damage and things like that? I mean, it probably wasn't likely that they would have. It would have been a hefty redesign of the game required. Whoa. Who's a pooch? Whoa! Oh, holy crap. Thanks, buddy. Mm, all right, well. Speaking of Tarzan. Okay, okay, that thing's genuinely dangerous. Let's not say that we did. Can I stand in it safely? I can stand in it safely. Doesn't cost me much in the way of health, but still rather protect against that. This looks like it might lead me down. Well, it does, obviously, but lead me down to that place I just saw, so... Interesting. Whoa. Yep, forgot. Alright, just gonna war with it, war with it, war with it. Ah, it's dead. Excellent. My bullets are better than your bullets. Again, as long as in that equation somewhere. Hazard suit lies. Look at all these first aid stations around, even in the sewers. Very much appreciated. Loving this. Whoa. Okay, you can right. You can right click to fire this thing as well. I haven't used any grenades yet. That's cylinder five. Thank you for maintaining consistency. It's funny how the muscle memory works. The fuck is this thing? This thing's tail? Jeezy McCreezy. You know, I could have just fallen into the, uh... Whatever was in you was not important enough to be impeding my progress. I want to go in there, but I feel I must for the sake of the country. For king and country. Ah, I can't get up this way. Um, nor do I like being in the water like this. No fishy bad guys. There's plenty of fishiness around here. I mean, mm, is there an exit portal I could use or somewhere? 
down here. Can't say I'm loving this. Let's give me some Subnautica flashbacks. Uh, hmm. This way then. Incidentally, if you haven't seen my Subnautica series on the channel, please watch it. It's one of my favorite games I've ever played in my entire life. Also watch all my other videos while I'm at it, I guess. Daddy needs that moolah. <laughs> it's like almost none of my videos are monetized. Well, they are these days, I should say. Um, But I haven't gone back and monetized them in the past. At least I don't think I have. Hmm. Sure you guys don't mind sitting through a wee advert to support a dude's hobby, do you? I didn't think so. You guys are cool. I will say I have um, played a variety of games and because of the variety of games that I have... Am I on the other side? Yes, I am. Good. Because of the variety of games that I have played, um, I've had a variety of different audiences. The Half-Life audience is by far the weirdest, and I've, I say that absolutely with love, but I get by far the largest amount of comments on my Half-Life videos that make no sense whatsoever. Like, it's, <laughs> it's very, like, with or without context. It obviously makes sense to the person typing it, but I don't think they've thought to think, how would somebody read this coming out to this video for the first time? I don't know. It's it's not a bad thing at all. It's just a colourful thing. And you know, I don't know how well this uh this video will do, um because, you know, it's been a while since I played the Half Life stuff. I'm doing Dragon Age at the moment. Nor do I particularly mind, honestly. Well this is wonderful. Hmm. That is one thing which I appreciate they added, uh was context. Uh, Half-Life 1, well, I'll finish that thought I was just making anyway. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm having fun playing this game, no matter the audience. It's just, you know, the engagement of this series will dictate whether or not I play it and upload episodes on it, or if I'll play it and not upload episodes on it, because, you know, uploading episodes is work, whereas this is gaming and fun. Yes, in the original, this room, I believe, is basically a bottomless chasm with some... Oh, shit. Some boxes floating over it. Great for platforming, not great for context, but we can see that there's, you know, hooks and, like, a chain things up here. Obviously, these boxes go somewhere eventually. Whoa. And... The chasm is no longer bottomless. It is a death pit. But not a... Not a meaningless death pit. Whoa. Oh, God, that stop right in midair uh, is actually a good thing for control, but terrible for, like, expectations. There's no momentum there. But I can go like this. And just I can just keep holding forward until I get over the box I need and then stop right there. Boom. So it goes this direction and then terminates in what looks like a wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is this here? <laughs> Again, that level of like history, that attention to detail. I love it. I love it. Correct pickup. Avoid herpes. It's a good tip. What's black and white and red all over? A newspaper or warning label. Sup, my bro? Yeah, I'm not usually one to say it, my bro. It's just how today's going, really. Where am I? I feel like I've looked back on myself. I have. What? Wh well, then, fuck. All I have in life is my forward progress. Um. Was I meant to do something in there? I don't think I pulled a switch or anything. Let's quick save. Um, wait, hang on, did I quick save? Should have quick save. Quick save! The hotkey for quick save is F5. I, I looked at it myself when I was trying to rebound the fucking. Uh, miscellaneous. 
I was F6. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my bad. So, hmm. Let's head back down, I guess. I mean, I, just, I don't really know where to go now. Which way the box at the end of the tunnel and then why? What did I do? Did I miss something somewhere? I thought it was being fairly thorough. Oh well, well let's head back and maybe something will have changed. This is a bit pointless though. Hmm. Is this way? Wait, I haven't been here. Jeez, that's your danger. It's that physics momentum, that's awesome. So what I caught and pick in second here? How have I got myself so turned around? Ah, <laughs> I got confused because I saw that. And I was like, green splatter on a balcony. I've gone the way I came. <laughs> no, what I've done is successfully proceeded through an area with guns. Would have been impressive if not for the guns. Let us ascend. So I'm loving this so far. It's a fun time in a basket, again, with guns. I think they've done a great job. I, like, I don't know what to say, like, there's definitive edition with some gameplay tweaks, I guess, um, but I... This certainly feels finished, which you would hope of 1.0. You don't want to wait until the final version. I... Ooh. Lovely. I do tend to wait for, mm, for science. Mm -hmm. I don't tend to play games on release exactly because they tend to have a ton of bugs and, whoa, whoa, oh God. Can't get through there to help. Hmm, terrific. Yeah, because I like to, with certain types of games, I like to wait for the DLC to come out, I like to wait for all the bugs to be fixed as much as possible, and, well, I already get that guy too. Did he go back? Well, points for bravery, I guess, but you're a basic scientist. Should be able to recognize some pattern recognition there. Employ some pattern recognition and say, let's go this way. You can do so without dying. This way. So, yeah, like certain games that get released, particularly for the AAA guys, they're kind of unfinished messes and they've got loads of DLC to come out. The experience is far from complete. But a game like this, I expect 1.0 to be very much the finished article or a pretty close approximation to it with the DLC not adding features or extra weapons throughout the existing campaign, but maybe adding extra content. Gordon. Oh, you alive. I had known it was you, you. alived? I would have let you in. <laughs> Everybody's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy. Mm -hmm. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Right? I'm getting on okay. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I've seen safer environments. The fact that they are, like, bursting through this now suggests they are moving and trying to get you. I don't know, man. I, I don't have a great estimation of your own chances at this point. Look, there's a literal skull in here. Uh, yeah, we can turn that off to stop the wire. Buzz and buzz. Buzz a buzz, buzz, buzz. Uh, well, that Do feels like a design flaw. Make it out of here? <laughs> Let's get that flashlight on. All right, all right, all right. Where am I going? I am, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, DLC for shooters, mainly uh, extra campaigns. You know, and Half-Life 1 did that, and Half-Life 2 did that. Although DLC is kind of a weird term to use for the Half-Life 2 episodes. It was more a consolation prize for Half-Life 3. <laughs> um, but... Uh, I'm still, like, great, great content either way but uh, they were obviously not yet willing to commit to a full Half-Life 3 for whatever reason. Um, yeah. So, I'm happy to be playing this now, basically. 
Like, it feels finished. I don't mind not playing the definitive version, even if it does turn out to be better. Nice music, bro. Oh, this is fun. Uh, emergency broadcast sign-in tones? Is that what that's meant to say? Holy electricity, Batman. Is there anything in here worth achieving? Let me uh, go out there first. I was really kind of like losing my train of thought for a second there. Mm, nope. Well, I'm pleased to tell you my work colleagues are making my phone blow up. Let's mute those notifications for a while, shall we? Sorry about this, guys. Just don't want to be distracted while I'm playing. Mm, okay, so I, I was obviously missing subtitles while I was looking away there. What is that? Oh, it's one of those guys. Can I get in there? No. Can I get in here? I cannot, for the sake of a paper blind. I can kill that, however, and it is an alien. Only use one vehicle. Do not return to the warning area until all clear has been given. If you're not in the evacuation zone, stay where you are. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve normal shots and a live head crab, as opposed to four or six headshots or whatever. But five. Damn straight, they should be more effective. On this I sort of wish I tuned in for that. Emergency broadcast signal sign out tunes. So I couldn't hear most of that, unfortunately, for a variety of reasons. It appears to be most, mostly evacuation uh, instructions, as well as a sign that this problem is, is you know, pretty widespread. Yeah, your gurgling gave you away, my bro. Still, your attempt itself has earned you mano a mano combat. Hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't for everybody. Mm, okay, so that's definitely a way to go. But I feel like I'm missing out on a secret here by not exploring Captain Electrical Buzz Room. Yippee ki yip. Here. Ow, sprint. Ow, god damn, ow. He gave me a little fright. Just a little for oh hi. Line them up! I'm just gonna go through all events like this from this moment forward for the rest of my life, or at least until I retire. I feel like when I retire I have the right to stop worrying about head crabs and vents. Oh, this journey will be worth it. No! Oh! Ta-da! <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I've lost my bearings completely. So I said there was a way ahead back there, but also, um, ah, okay, can I get in? Nope. Still, nope. Again, a door. I really need to survey the whole situation before <laughs> trying to break windows and climb through stuff. I mean, I feel like, hi. I feel like the, uh, the building is as close to totaled as a non-vehicle can get. I'm sure there's a word for it when it comes to buildings. Uh, so I came in there and... W w I know I just picked up something, but I, bugger if I know what it is. Oh, I've obtained a tutorial. Whoa, opens both ways. That's weird. Isn't that less, like... Well, I no fire doors can't open two ways for obvious reasons. Two-way doors, by necessity, need to have a hinge which allows the door to swing both ways, which is just, by essence, not secure. All right, this way. This looks like the way ahead, so let's just proceed. Hey, hey, over here. Oh, hi. I need your help. How so? One of these little buggers latched onto my buddy's head. We gotta get that thing off before... Hey, good news. Help just arrived. What? Hey, what the hell? <sighs> get off of me! Yes. I owe you one. Uh, here, let me get this open. Don't you sass me. I, uh, I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh, go take a look-see. See what you can carry. 
That was tough love, my friend. If you could not have survived that, you would Ow. not have learned. I think I need some medical attention. Nowish would be nice. Follow Roger me, we'll see what we can do. Run like hell. Yes. Shoot this everything. Well, I guess I'll have that. <laughs> Ooh, ooh! Oh, good sir. I am now. My bad, Doc. Boom, 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 boom. I want this in my room. We'll spend the night together. And the rest is none of your goddamn business. What a weird thing. Uh, the security cards in this are quite capable. I reckon, like, it was designed so that I would ha have to help that guy in order for him to live. It didn't even occur to me to, um, help for some reason. I think I got too used to looking at battles happening behind closed doors. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Definitely a bad guy, definitely a bad guy, definitely a bad guy. But, I, you know, I much prefer the freaking fire rate of... The gut, the pistols from Half-Life 2. You can probably let's just... Nice in my trophy room. Hair trigger that thing. Oh. Did you just give me that? Thank you. And... Go. Mm. I have a look. How did you know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> I think Alex uh, used to tell you uh, to reload in the Half-Life 2 as well. Hmm. How do they know? It's not like there's a readout or anything. They count your bullets? Don't waste your time. 45%. Well, I don't know where to go next, and that means it's time to call this episode a day. And uh, I'm also going to call um, this uh, this recording session for today. So, yeah, uh, let me know if you guys would like to see more of this series on YouTube here. I've considered streaming it as well, that could be fun. Um, but I would need to kind of set up a regular schedule for that. So if you guys want to see more of these videos here, whoa. Oh, God, I, I borderless to myself somehow and managed to, well freeze yeah let me know if you want to see more episodes here if you'd be interested in seeing streams of this or you know if <laughs> if i don't hear anything then i'll just assume that nobody really wants to see any more of this which is absolutely fine um i you know i would like to have this whole series on youtube it kind of goes with all my other half-life stuff but at the same time i'm also just happy to kind of play this in my own time so yeah let me know what you think and uh, what your thoughts are on the game so far. I'm really kind of blown away by it. Like it's, as far as I can tell, it's pretty much done its job perfectly. It's uh, it's both a remake and a reimagining to an extent. Um, and it integrates the changes that it's made to physics and to combat very well. Super impressed, well done guys. So thanks for watching folks. I shall see you in the next episode. You have any idea they were working